Hey all. Once the future game here. Welcome back to the playthrough of Ooh, Less Your Life. Oh actually play for Spyro 2. Gateway to Glimmer. Or if you lived in the USA, Ripto's Revenge. Part of me really does like look I realise that's like the official proper title for the game, but I Part of me just feels dirty calling it that. He'll ski me. Swim, dragon, swim. Kill the sheep. Burn you all. Ooh, extra life. Get that butterfly. Oh, we missed it. There we go. This? this is the home world called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from <coughs> each of the worlds you've been. I've been good once, I've just been choked on camera. Yeah, I do feel Year of, the, Year of the Dragon. I do think Year of the Dragon is a better game. I think with the second Spyro, with Spyro 2, Ripto's Revenge. Hey, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. Yeah. I think this game, I think, it's maybe two-thirds are a great game. There's two-thirds of it is absolutely fantastic. Well worth playing. There's a third of it, unfortunately, that is just Sparks, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is. Son off. Third of it is there's some levels on this that are there's some maybe maybe not necessarily just some levels, there's some some missions on here that's just tiresome. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Nope. Ooh. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. You just told me this 20 seconds ago. Nice job. Now try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. We can't argue with that, can you? Hover! Ow. Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. Okay, well. There it is. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Is this our second orb? I think it might be. Third orb.
Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Ah, a bit short. I wonder if they really made it so that you have to go into one of these worlds to uh, to get all the gems you need. Nice. I love this music, this chant. No, I did anyway. I think that goat had the right idea. A yeti has been rampaging around our home, but we've managed to trap him by shutting all the doors. If you talk to the other brothers, they will open the gates and guide you to him. Okay, let's go kill a yeti. Concentrating, I should be able to open this door for you. Oh, the cha I just realized the change that because the reason I used to say, like, why? I, I... like this enemies like those yaks are too big to be charged your flame attack should easily take care of large enemies flame on There and burn. Each time you defeat an enemy, it will release a spirit particle. The spirit particles will activate the power up in that world. If a power up isn't active, you need to defeat more enemies. Let's kill them all. Keeping going. Remember hunters Oh, go away. I'm a vegetarian. I think you should torch that yeti. He's pretty tough though. In fact, I'm not sure you're up to it. I, mean, I know we don't beat him this way, but what happens if we try going in? I thought 
the Yeti was tougher than that. I guess he was all bark. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> anyway, I was just guarding our sacred talisman to make sure the Yeti didn't eat. We got the talisman. So there's, we can jump out the window. And go this way. I think we can 100% this world at this point. If I came here, because I think if we're going to do one, we can't actually 100% it until we get the ability to swim. Is this hockey? Ah, Spyro. Welcome. We have found that hockey is a peaceful and calming sport. Would you like to join in a match against our goalkeeper? Yeah. You have two minutes to score five goals in the red goal. Well, that doesn't sound like hockey. Never not ice hockey. Anyway, there's the puck. Oh, get it quick. We got one! Oops. Bottom corner! Oops, missed it. Come on, bounce back. Bounce back. Ow. We'll do it. Well, come on, grab that hard disc that's moving at great speed in your mouth. There's no way that ends up wrong. It's the reason why you see quite a lot of hockey players with no teeth, I guess. Oh, damn it, I missed. 30 seconds to score, one last goal. We got it! Give me the orb, give me the orb, give me the orb. Would you like to try a game of one on one? The first to score five goals wins. You Let's do it. Red goal. What's the puck? This is a very cagey affair so far. Blame his ass! We got it! 1-0! One 1-0 one and the dragon!
skill point. Have this. If you stare at it long enough, you might not see anything. Oh, that doesn't sound good. You can keep practice. So, seventy-five percent done. We have one orb left to get. Oh. Keep on going. I think this is where we need to be. Well, let's give us plenty of gems at least. It's only 80 more gems. Keep going, is there anything along here? I don't think there is actually. Oh, well, we screwed up with that. Then we can recover. That's where we need to be. You scared that evil spirit away, but now it will hide in the statues. If you were to flame all ten statues, I'm sure you would chase it away for good. Well, I can't argue with the logic like that, can I? He just seems to know what he's talking about. He's a professor. Oh, no, don't run over there. Don't run over there just yet. Is that everything? No, it is. We've got all the gems. Right. Let's blow out all these hockey stat these statues and then we'll uh, take it from there. We took that one out earlier. I think there's a couple down here. There is, there's one around there. I don't know if there's one over in this direction or if we... Is there? Is there? No, I know there's... There's one around here somewhere. Is 
There's definitely one left. One left somewhere in this land. in here, isn't there? There's only... There ain't any more down here. I'm sure there's not. Yep. Oh, there it is. Well done, Spyro. You've scared the evil spirit away. Why don't you take this? I borrowed it from the temple. They don't need it. Hmph. <laughs> I'll that at you to science. <laughs> right then. Let's GTFO. With 100% of this level, we can move on. Go home. Well, back to the home world anyway. Home might be pushing it. The gems. Hello there, Spyro. Great. Okay. When you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. The charge button to charge. You amaze me, money bags. A bit more exploring of this world, and then we'll we might call it a session soon. Well, I think we will call it a session here. So, as always, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, help the channel grow. Down in the description of the video, you've got links to my YouTube playlist, my Twitter, my Discord, and my Patreon. So, until next time, we are going to stop here. This has been Once a Future Gamer playing Spyro 2, Gateway to Glimmer, or Ripto's Revenge, as they do call it. So, take care now. Have a great day. See you next time. Bye-bye now.